What's going on, y'all? Happy Friday. It's your boy Foots here. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying this Friday. Win the day, man. Uh, I don't know. God's telling me to tell y'all, man, love up on your loved ones. Have a good weekend, okay? Uh, I wanted to do a quick breakdown of Dane Brugler's mock draft 2.0. Dane is somebody that I trust. He's somebody that I follow for years. All the way back to 2015, I mean, excuse me, 2015, when he was kind of like underground. Nobody really knew who he was. And now he's working with the athletic. And he's somebody who has a high pulse on what the Cowboys are doing. He's somebody that I trust. And he's somebody that formulates great ideas. And I kind of want to piggyback on some of his ideas. And in his 2.0 mock draft, 10, he picked uh, um, Northwestern tackle Rashawn Slater. And in 44, he picked uh, Trevon Morig, somebody who I've touched on heavy uh, in my draft talk when I said that this team has to have a safety. So I, I do feel very validated. And even with the Dan Quinn hire, um, I like it. Even with the Dan Quinn hire, I still like going sh uh, Slater. And I want to give you guys a few reasons why. Um, so let's talk about Slater for a second. Unfortunately, Cowboys fans have been conditioned to think that because our defense is bad, that we are going to be pigeonholed to pick a defender early. And I think that if you're thinking like that, just uncork your brain now because it's not smart. Our defense is bad. It was bad. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're going to go defender early, especially if it doesn't make sense. And especially, just to be honest with you, if you have a player rated higher who can help you immediately, enter in one Northwestern tackle, guard, do it all, man child Rashawn Slater for my money and for what the Cowboys would want him to do I think so I like Penny Sewell I think Penny Sewell is going to pass the eye test and I think that his feet are his feet are flat out ridiculous when it comes to power punch climb next level football player I like Rashawn Slater a little bit better Big Ten lineman um the movement is not as good no the length his arm length won't be as good as at the combine no but the tape is just as good to me. I mean, they both have, they're both not finished products. Like, neither one of these guys are Tyron Smith. But segueing into Tyron Smith, segueing into Lyle Collins, their health is a true issue. The health is something that I don't think people really understand how a, a Tyron Smith being hurt, uh, not playing a whole year, same with the Lyle Collins, um, really affected his team. Let's talk about our quarterback for a second. However you feel about Dak Prescott, the truth of the matter is, is he's coming off a major injury. We've seen how Alex Smith came back from the injury. Though he's older, he's not been the same player. Now, I think that Dak is, there's nobody that I would bet on more to come back, be full strength, the whole nine, the ankle healing up, and him being fine. That being said, we don't know what we don't know. And, like, Dak is, Dak is a mobile quarterback but he's not like an elusive quarterback, if that makes sense. Like Tony, I'll be honest, Tony Romo was like a little bit more in the pocket, more like wiggle feel basketball player-esque, like crossover-esque in the pocket, a little bit more than Dak Prescott. But Dak Prescott, he's not a, a stiff athlete, so he's not like a, a Andy Dalton sitting target. He's not that. However, if I have a chance to get my offensive line back to some semblance of 2014, 2020, when we were running that ball, when we just had pockets clean, that's what I'm going to do. If Lyle and Tyron are healthy, then I'm playing them at guard. And Connor Williams goes to the bench. It's just that simple. If I want to do some other things and maybe kick Lyle Collins in the guard, I'm doing it. It's just that simple because Rashawn Slater is that good. Um, you know, another conversation that Cowboys fans may not want to have because of our defensive woes are Kyle, the Kyle Pitts conversation. But as I look at Michael Gallup's kind of decline, like I'll be honest with you guys, and I didn't even, this is just coming to me like, I didn't even write this down, none of that. This is just coming to me, just talking to me to you guys. <sighs> Amari Cooper's still really good. Like, I don't want to lose Amari Cooper. He's still really good. His numbers were really good, even with Andy Dalton throwing him the ball. And you're not going to, you know, do anything to jeopardize C.D. Lamb's future because he's shown in year one that he's just going to be a stud. So 
that Kyle Pitts conversation, like, I'll be honest with you. Dane said it best and just watching the film, it's hard, it's hard to find three receivers better than Kyle Pitts. It really, really is. It's going to be hard if he's sitting on the board for you to not draft him. I honestly don't think that Rashawn Slater will even get to 10. I don't think he gets past Cincinnati. But, you know, crazier things have happened. I also think that if there's a team that wants a Slater and you want to move back for whatever reason, you'll have that luxury because offensive tackle is a need. It's a need in the league. It's a lot of O line, a lot of bad O line playing. I don't think that this O line is bad. You have some young pieces on this O line, McGovern, that showed you some things, um, some other pieces on this O line that really helped you. But if I have a chance to get that position group better, because the truth of the matter is, nobody that I draft number ten is going to take my defense from whatever was ranked last year to a top five defense. People look at the skins all the time. Yeah, the skins. Their defense got great because they sucked for so long and they had, you know, first round resources and they could use it on that defensive line. This isn't Dallas. So just keep that in mind. Um, I, I like the train of thought there because if I can just have a serviceable defense with a great offense, that works too. It's been working for Kansas City. It works for some other teams. So it's just something to think about. Trevon Moore, thank you, Dane. 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 Finally, a safety who can play sideline to sideline. I'll be honest, I think after the, he could, you know, he's the Jim Thorpe Award winner. I believe that after the uh, the Senior Bowl, excuse me, not the Senior Bowl, I believe that after the Combine and all of that stuff that he, there's no way he's going to get to the second round. Um, just because of, again, I, I'll say it time and time. I like, you watch the West Virginia tape from this year. It wasn't the best, but the Oklahoma State tape was really good. The Oklahoma tape from 2019 was really good. His West Virginia tape from 2019 was really good. He just has a feel of how to play safety. And with Donovan Wilson, now that you're going to a cover three scheme, you could just put Donovan Wilson in the box, go run, go be an athlete. And he's shown that he's a really good player. Like Donovan Wilson, you hit that diamond in the rough. Now you need to use a premium pick on a premium player. Even if you trade back up in a second, like I'll be honest with you, I would be happy with no third round pick, Slater, and Morick. That like I would I would draft Morick. I'll be honest with you. I would draft Morick in the first round. I just like the player that much. I like his feel for the game that much. If you got him in the second, it's a steal. I don't think that any of these corners, like you're gonna have to do some things in free agency at the corner position and just ride or die with Diggs, Brown, and just pray that you can get Cheeto on the cheap. And in linebacker position, that's where you're going to have to really hit on the, in the draft in the back end if you went that way. But this is just one scenario, and I think that Dane Brugler did a really good job just thinking outside the box because everybody wants to go defense, defense. And even in my next mock, I'm going to do a three-round, and I'll probably go defense again. But this argument, this talk needs to happen because, you know, draft community, you guys are you guys are my homies. Like, it's, it's not a lot of y'all out here, you know. It's, it's Cowboy fans who are just like super, you know, diehard fan, fan, fan. And then it's draft community. I'm talking to draft community. You guys know how this thing works to where it's like, dude, if I got a chance to get my O-line back to where it was, being physical, because you got to think about it, too. You're going to be playing against Chase Young. You're going to be playing against the Giants who have a decent D-line. You need to be able to protect your quarterback who's coming off a major injury. So Rashawn Slater, Trevon Moore. I like that two-round combination. Like, you guys let me know what you think. Thank you guys also for hitting up the Cash App. It means the world to me. Hit it up, guys, man. Anything, because I don't go live. I'm trying to work. Me and Shango, he's helped me out with my live stream situation. So that should be coming to you guys soon. But until then, man, until then, man any amount of money helps. Uh, again, it's your boy Foots. Hey.